Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans, and over the past couple of days, you might have seen the unboxing of the brand new Galaxy S21. And if you haven't, don't worry, because there is a link in the description below where you can go and look at that video. But you might have been lucky enough to actually pick up a Galaxy S21 yourself, and you might be moving from an iPhone to a Samsung Galaxy. So if that is the case, carry on watching this video, and we will give you some tips on how to move your data from an iPhone over to a Galaxy S21. We have a couple of different methods that might help you move your data from your iPhone to your brand new Galaxy S21. And our first method is probably the best method for you, and that is to go and use our mobile trans software. This will work for any Android device and not just the Galaxy S21, but the first thing you need to do is go and download the software. And then once you have it, you need to open it up and then choose that phone transfer tool from that main menu. The next step is then to go and connect both of your phones to your computer. And then this is where you get to select the files you want to transfer over from your iPhone to your Android device or your brand new Galaxy S21. Here you can select as much data as you want to take over and leave the stuff that you want to leave behind on your iPhone. if going to the Galaxy S21 is going to be a brand new fresh start. Then once you're done, you go to the bottom right corner, you select start, and then this is when the process will begin to transfer those files from your old iPhone over to your brand new Galaxy S21 or your Android device. It may take a bit of time depending on how much data you want to transfer over from the iPhone to the Galaxy phone, but just sit back and wait. And then once it is done, all your data would have transferred from your iPhone to your brand new Galaxy S21. The next method is to transfer your data using a USB cable that goes straight from the iPhone to your Galaxy S21 or Android device. You'll need a couple of different things for this to work. So first of all, what you'll need is you'll need that iPhone cable that came with your iPhone, and then you'd need an OTG cable, which means you can connect to your brand new Galaxy S21. So those are the two things that you will need for this method to work. And a bit of a tip here is to make sure that both of these phones are as fully charged as you can get, because this process sometimes can take a bit of time and you don't want to be running out of battery. You need to go and get your Galaxy phone here and launch that smart switcher and then select transferring data from an iPhone or an iPad. At this point when you've selected that, that is when you go and connect the two phones together and then what we can do is start to look at making that data transfer happen from the iPhone to the Galaxy phone. Plug in that lightning cable to the iPhone and then use that OTG cable to plug it into the Galaxy phone and then those two devices are then connected. Next is to select that data that you want to move over from phone to phone and you can move over quite a few different things. So you can move over things like personal content, so contacts and messages and notes, call history and bookmarks. So you can take over all the really important information that you'll want to that brand new phone. And once you've selected that, all you do is select next. And then that is when the process will start to begin of taking that data from your iPhone to your Galaxy S21. Now, method three is to go ahead and use iTunes to make that data transfer possible. You can do this by taking an old backup of an iPhone and taking it over to that Samsung phone by using that smart switch software. This app is designed in such a way that it can take data or information from any device. And in the next few steps, I will tell you how you can take an old iPhone backup and take it over to that Galaxy phone and using iTunes. So the first thing you need to do here is go and actually create a backup of your iPhone if you haven't done that already. So open up iTunes and make sure you connect the iPhone to your computer. Then go to the summary tab and then you'll see backup options and then make sure you back up the latest backup of your phone to iTunes. Now the step two here is to go to the Samsung device and install that smart switch application software on your computer and then just make sure you restart it to make sure it's all installed properly. And the final step is to now connect your Samsung phone to the computer and launch that application. Once you've done that, from the app interface, select Restore feature and click on Restore Now option. The latest iTunes backup will be detected automatically by the app and then that process will begin. Just like that iTunes option, this next option to take information from iCloud, you will need help from Samsung Smart Switch app again. When you're trying to take data from iCloud, a wireless transfer method always comes in really handy. So let me tell you how you can take that data from iCloud over to your Samsung phone and it is nice and simple. You need to create a backup of your phone. So the first thing you need to do here is go open your iCloud settings and then go to backup and then select backup now and a backup will be created in iCloud. 
The next step is to open that smart switch app on your Samsung phone and choose the wireless mode. Tap on that receive option and make sure you click iOS transfer. Then you need to sign in to iCloud on that Samsung phone. So just make sure you sign in with your Apple ID. And if you have two step verification on, make sure you input that code here. Next, you choose the files that you want to transfer and tap on that import button. You can transfer as much data as you want using this method. But if you want to take music and videos from your iTunes, then the iTunes method that we mentioned a little bit before is probably the best method. Moving on to our final method is to actually use your computer to copy that data from your iPhone to your Samsung. Sometimes just using your computer is a really good way to make sure that you get all of that data from your iPhone to your Galaxy. So there's only three steps to this and I will tell you how to do it. So first of all, step one, connect your iPhone to the computer and provide data access permissions to it. Open the storage and you will see data files present. Make sure you right click on the files and folders and copy them into separate folders onto your system. Now connect your Samsung phone to the computer and open the device storage. And finally for step three, copy the data files stored on the computer from the iPhone and paste them into the Samsung storage. And again, depending on how much data you want to take over, it might take a little bit of time, but stay with it, be patient, and that data will transfer over from your iPhone to your Samsung. There we go, some methods there to help you take your data from an iPhone over to your brand new Galaxy S21. So if this helped you, let us know in the comments below. And remember the unboxing video, the link to that is in the description if you have missed it. So if you enjoyed the video, why not subscribe? And we will see you in the next one.